Uh, so uh, there's this, uh, this dude, Scott Cawthorn, uh, who uh, created, um, he, he actually has quite a bit, but uh, one of his things that he created is this, uh, like a horror survival game, video game. And uh, it's called Five Nights at Freddy's. You know that? Yeah, Ch- chime in here. What you you played this? Tell us about. Five I, well, so I played a little bit of it. it scares the bejesus out of me because I don't like it. But um, a friend of mine made me play it, and now I'm not friends with her anymore. And I don't like the game. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So there's like these series of games. There's some for younger people too, that are they're just kind of creepy. There's one, na- Hello Neighbor. Is another mm. one. I be- Hello, is that it? I don't know. It's this creepy one where you like try to go into this guy's house. I don't know about that one, but uh, so Five Nights at Freddy's though. My this was popular among kids. Remember, my son had like a board game because he couldn't play. Like he, if he played that game, it would scare the hell out of him. Yeah, the 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 jump scares are real. <laughs> yeah, totally, while you're playing. So the creator of this, uh, just listen to this headline. Five Nights at Freddy's Scott Cawthorn won't apologize for supporting Trump. Like, again, Why love, do we to, care? love to just flip it, okay? Um, uh, NBA, LeBron won't apologize for supporting Obama. What? Like, you in, in an alternative universe, you can't even think of that or imagine something like that. One, it'd be racist as hell. And, and you can't even imagine somebody just kind of coming out and writing a headline like this in the media. And what it stems from, it would be like this. And this is what happened to this guy, Cawthorn. Somebody just went through FEC disclosures. When you donate to a candidate or a political action committee, any kind of cause like that, you're on record. So... And it's, it's easy to go find names and candidates, et cetera. It's all public information, okay? Cawthorn donated years ago to Donald Trump, and somebody re- just recently decided, like, oh, I'm going to go into the FEC website, Federal Election Commission, and look up this guy and see who he's donated to. Well, that person has way too much time on their hands. And then think about the media taking the time to write about it. But but the whole, again, the whole context of this is that you need to apologize for supporting a man who was elected to pr- be president of the United States. If this is not, yet again, just another very clear, transparent, inside look into the media and individual reporters' heads, their mentality— I don't know what is. The, the whole premise is you need to apologize. Why? You donated to Donald Trump. Imagine that in any other time frame, most especially for any Democrat president. LeBron James donated to President Obama? Are you kidding me? Yeah, I just found it on the Federal Election Commission website. I just did the search, and the information's been public for a decade. Uh, and so it's all been there. And, uh, and, and then we did it for Donald Trump. Well, somebody, first of all, let's not talk about Trump. Let's talk about Obama. And I can't believe that somebody donated him. LeBron James, are you going to apologize for donating to President Barack Obama? Uh, with Cawthorn, though, it's even more bizarre. He also donated to a Democrat. Yet, there are people right now trying to cancel him and push him out of any contracts he has with other developers, get him pushed off. I mean, you know how this works, right? His games and that he still continues to receive income from every time they're downloaded are on the Apple Store, they're up on Google, Android, all these platforms. And of course, you already have a movement to have him deplatformed, to have him taken off of these for, again, committing the sin of giving a financial contribution to an actual candidate. Mind-blowing. Uh, and he is in, look, he's in a position that's different from some others. He's financially set, right? Like he had 
he put all the work in and sold the heck out of this, and he's got money, and he said, I don't, he, he's even quoted as saying, you cancel me if you want. I don't give a damn. I don't do this for money anymore. I do it because I love it, and I'm good to go. Uh, and he talks about, look, I've supported men, women, white people, black people, Republicans, and Democrats. He said he also supported, and it was documented, Tulsi Gabbard, a Democrat who ran for president. In our mo- and, and, and Tulsi Gabbard is, on some issues, as insanely left as you can get. I, I love Tulsi Gabbard for a lot of what she stands for, especially foreign policy. She's also a really good person, but I radically disagree with a lot of it. And, and Cawthorn says that, you know, I disagree with her on a lot of the issues, but I donated to her because I like some of her positions. It doesn't matter. You're still going to get canceled, according to the left. Again, the premise of this, the headline. Uh, here's the, uh, let me just read the first paragraph. An animator who created the critically acclaimed horror survival video game Five Nights at Freddy's in 2014 has refused to apologize for his donations to conservative politicians, including Donald Trump. You know, what this really is, when you, when you talk about cancel culture from a, a myopic view and bringing it to a, a larger picture, the first paragraph there in that sentence really sums up how the media and many of the leftists in it are trying to cancel an entire culture, and that's a culture of Republicans slash conservatives slash libertarians, all of us who share a lot of the same space. So, again, the premise that that freaking news article supposedly by a journalist, which is neither news not a, or a journalist, is that we found that you donated to Republicans and you need to apologize. I'm calling you right now. Do you apologize? Yes or no? No. Headline. Refuses. We'll be right back. This is The Drive.